Hello everyone, I'm Dan, and today I want to finally present a general solution to Fusion's instance cleanup problems. For those of you who haven't been keeping up, let's do a quick rundown of the core issue. This computed here generates an instance from a name variable. Every time the name variable changes, a new instance is produced. That instance becomes the new value of the computed. So, all good so far. Except, not really. You see, when the computed changes value to the new instance, the old instance becomes unused. In this example, that would mean we have to destroy it, because if you don't destroy the instances that you make, then you'll end up with memory leaks. So just destroy instances that are returned from computeds, right? Not so fast. You see, this other computed also returns instances. However, it doesn't create them. Instead, it's simply returning existing instances from a model. If we were to destroy these, then it would be incorrect. So Fusion needs to be more intelligent about when to destroy instances. It should only destroy the instances that it's responsible for. But how can Fusion tell the difference? As far as Fusion is concerned, both of these computed objects just return instances. There's no information about who is responsible for those instances. So how has Fusion addressed this in the past? Well, in Fusion 0.1, we just didn't. Instead of doing anything about it, we just said, remember to destroy your instances when you're done with them. And if you didn't do that, too bad, you're now leaking memory and you don't even know it. Of course, that's no way to solve a problem. So starting with Fusion version 0.2, we started looking into making instances garbage collect more nicely. The theory was that by making instances behave more like regular values, we could keep the cleanliness of Fusion intact while still providing useful cleanup behavior. Unfortunately, this led to some issues in multiple corner cases that were impossible to solve. So later in development, we pivoted to so-called destructor functions. You'd provide a second function to deal with any necessary cleanup, and it'd be called when Fusion needed to dispose of a previously generated value. And we even provided a couple out of the box for extra conciseness. So do nothing is just an alias for function end, and cleanup calls the cleanup function, same one as the cleanup special key. But unfortunately, this is not a universal fix. As demonstrated here, mixing up different kinds of value happens all over the place, and we can't necessarily rely on state objects to clear all of that up. We need some way to specify how destruction should be handled for any value anywhere. To do this, I'd like to propose the managed type. This is a very simple type which just bundles a value together with a destructor. When someone wants to destroy a managed value, they just call the destructor method, which can then provide whatever custom destroy logic that you want. So here's an example of how this could work in action. Here, the show hint method wants to show a hint for five seconds, and then it wants to destroy it. To do this in a general way, it uses a managed type so that you can customize the destruction behavior. So below, you can see we're creating a hint to be shown. However, we pass it in with do nothing, which indicates to the show hint function that no destruction should be done. This means that we can reuse the hint for a second message and we can pass it right back in. This time, however, we pass in fusion.cleanup, which means that once the show hint function destroys the hint, the hint will actually be destroyed, and so we can no longer use it. So this is what Fusion would look like using managed types. As you can see, we are <clears throat> explicitly annotating which types need to be cleaned up and which types do not need to be cleaned up. A bit like how we do it now with destructors on state objects. However, it's admittedly a little bit more clunky and you definitely would not want to be doing this everywhere. We can improve things significantly by making new return managed instances for you. A bit like this. So this can act as a handy shortcut since almost all of the time 
you want your instances to be destroyed when they're no longer in use. This will eliminate almost all explicit destruction code from Fusion code bases, except where you're mixing in instances from elsewhere, in which case you should be specifying whether those need to be destroyed anyway in order to prevent memory leaks. So in general, the idea is this. If your code needs to dispose of a value, use managed types. It forces your users to consider how disposal should work, and it will lead to fully correct, fully explicit programs. Now, with all of that being said, this is far from a finished idea, nor do we intend to ship this in any version of Fusion at the moment. It's entirely experimental frolicking, and there's still lots of improvements to be made and lots of questions to be asked. For example, we'd need to make sure that new users could understand this easily, and we'd also need to make sure that it doesn't actually act as a net negative for the Fusion community. After all, we are introducing more complexity here, and so we don't want to make your code bases overcomplicated. Anyway, that's about all from me. You can visit me at ltob.uk. You can follow me on Twitter at ltob underscore, and you can find me on Discord at ltob number one. Anyway, that's all from me. I've been Dan, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Have fun.